Bay, October, what is today, 29th, 2016. I'm doing this today because I've been seeing things since the reaction. Of course, Sunday will give you the weekly NBA report. Today, I'll do the weekly Celtics report. Maybe I'll do those Saturdays, maybe I'll do those Sundays, but I'm seeing a lot of talk. Of course, we know I'm in the, you know, the Bleed Green, the We Bleed Green uh, fan pages. Um, so we'll just get into it right now. Number one, I am not in any way panicked by the Boston Celtics as of right now. Frankly, that Chicago game, I was actually impressed when the Celtics were on. They looked very good. Um, you know, second night of a back-to-back. -back. They were very good on back-to-backs last year, but, you know, got off to a slow start. But for the most part, they were very good in that game. Horford, uh, the things that concern me with Horford, uh, coming in, you know, signing him was he's not a back to the basket player, and when he had the opportunities, he was in foul trouble. Looked good with his back to the basket. Jalen Brown, I was critical of, uh, certainly looks very athletic. He had that critical turnover, but hey, this is the second NBA game, and um, I said it. But as far as where I'm at, I'm just making commentary on the game. Number one, Gerald Green is not that good of a player. He doesn't bring any real value to this team, considering the roster they already have. He's only going to take minutes from Jalen Brown, and I said this when I signed him. I will put the link in the video to when I did that. So I'm not just new to the party. All I'm saying, I'm just making commentary of the game as I see. There were a couple mistakes in that game. Um, you know, two late clock situations. I posted this one. One was a shot clock. You had Avery Bradley backing up off of uh, Dwayne Wade. He hit a deep three. And Jimmy Butler at the end of the half hit a deep three as well. That may have been the end of the third quarter, one of the two. Jay Crowder on him. I mean, Avery Bradley was first team all defense. I picked him to be defensive player of the year. Um, and uh, Jay Crowder, I believe, was the first man off the team. I mean, received a lot of votes. I believe he only missed by about two points for uh, second team all defense. So your two top defenders made mistakes. If you want to say Marcus Smart's in there, okay, uh, you know, whatever. That's, you know, just another story. I think Bradley and Jay Crowder are the best. Um, I liked what I saw from Rozier. The questions with Rozier is whether he can or cannot hit threes. I believe he was two for four in that game. As far as the Nets game, of course, you put in your backups. You have a big lead opening night a lot of emotion things got away from them I don't know if points were being shaved in that one we'll have to see because they didn't cover the spread it doesn't look like but those things happen uh they you know got the win and frankly when you have an NBA season you have the second night of a back-to-back -back. I'm resting the starters too there and I'm hoping that the bench can close it out against the poor Brooklyn team and they were able to get the win regardless it doesn't matter if you win by five or if you win by 25 which you know they were close to having that sort of lead they won the game so that's all right but I'm not panicked. I'm very happy. I mean, the things that concerned me about the Celtics, like I said, was Horford's back to the back play. Jalen Brown actually looks very nice. We'll see what happens when Marcus Smart comes back. I want to see his progression coming into this season. But Gerald Green, I, you know, like I said, there that was a critical play in that game. He was completely asleep on a weak side rebound. It was a very easy rebound. I believe it was the Brazilian guy, whatever his name is, on Chicago, was able to tip it out. Led to a Miracic three. Now, I, I, if I remember correctly, that was like right at after the Celtics got the lead or right there when the game was close. That was a critical play in that game. But like I said, in that Chicago game, that you know, you take those two late clock situations, you take that three where you're falling asleep on the glass. That's nine points right there. Al Horford missed the layup. That's 11 points. Uh, Isaiah Thomas missed was two for five for three free throws uh you know there's three points right there so i mean you're up to about 15 points right there that you say the celtics you know were were negative in because some of them would bulls hitting shots it's not 15 missed points but 15 negative points you say half of that is seven points it was a seven point game you know you're right there in that one so celtics are, are fine i'm not worried about that I, I wanted to be clear that i'm no way panicking no one needs to come in and say i'm panicking um, it is what it is. I'm very fine with the Celtics, so we'll see what happens moving forward into the next week. Of course, I got the league pass. I'll be checking them out as much as I can. Really, only Fridays would be the issue for me to not watch their games. So, uh, off to a fine start. We'll see what happens, and uh, we'll move on from there. So, well, today, of course, we will give you the rest of this for the NFL fans. I will give you the rest of the NFL game picks for week eight. Moving forward, and tomorrow we will give you the weekly NBA report. Be sure to stay tuned for that, and remember we appreciate all subscriptions. Thank you all.